This is the enormous skull of Tyrannosaurus rex, many, many times bigger than mine. And these are the bones of its forelimbs, relatively tiny. And there are other dinosaurs in which the difference in size is even more marked. Why should we think that these tiny limbs have got anything to do with display? Everyone knows that T. rex had small arms, but dozens of other predatory dinosaurs from all around the world had small arms too. They all evolved from earlier dinosaurs that had much longer arms. But over millions of years, these dinosaurs came to rely more on their mouths for holding and killing prey. So their heads became more powerful and their arms became smaller. Some of the smallest arms relative to body size belong to the South American dinosaur Carnotaurus. When the bones of these arms were first discovered, it was assumed that they would be of little use and were evolutionary leftovers, much like a human's tiny tailbone. A closer look at the bones revealed that these tiny arms also probably lacked any claws. Carnotaurus's upper arm bone, the humerus, up here, has this weird ball and socket joint. It's very round at the upper end. And that suggests that uh, its shoulder joint had quite a bit of mobility. And they were attached to the shoulder with lots of powerful muscles. Evidence that they were used for something. But could they have been used during courtship? Carnotaurus's tiny arms were too small for anything like digging or fighting opponents. The most likely explanation for such small yet mobile arms is that they were used in display. In the natural world today, highly specialised body parts that appear to have no other function often turn out to be used for display and to attract mates. These range from colourful feather plumes to long, cumbersome horns and antlers. In many cases, the owner of such appendages puts up with the cost of having them because they are so attractive to potential mates. In modern-day birds and reptiles, iridescent colours also help physical displays to stand out. And the same could be true for Carnotaurus's arms. A wide range of arm movement and a show of bright colours is certainly eye-catching. But in the end... Potential mates can still be very choosy.